Hello, I'm Svetlin Naku from Softune, and I'm here again for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In this episode, I will explain the gist of Ajax and REST, which are widely used technologies in web programming. I will demonstrate how to use the JavaScript Fetch API to call backend services and interact with server-side components. Finally, I will perform a live coding demonstration of Ajax and REST so that you get a deeper understanding of their application. Okay, let's go ahead. Now let's talk about an important web front-end concept and technology, AJAX. AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. This acronym doesn't describe its nature well, but this is for historical reasons, from the time when XML was popular. A better description for the AJAX technology is the following. AJAX is a technology for asynchronous execution of HTTP requests from client-side JavaScript code. JavaScript front-end apps use AJAX code to access the backend services and APIs and consume data from the web server over the HTTP protocol. AJAX enables building interactive single-page apps, where the content of the page interactively changes without refreshing the page. Developers can retrieve data from a URL without having to do a full page refresh. This enables web page to update just a part of a page without disrupting what the user is doing. This is an example of how JavaScript code can download server-side resources over HTTP using the fetch function. The fetch function takes as an input server-side resource URL and return a promise, which will be resolved when the resource is downloaded or an error occurs. This code will invoke a synchronous, simple, a synchronously a simple HTTP GET request. This is an example how front-end connects to the back-end. The AJAX technology uses the XML HTTP request browser object to asynchronously make HTTP request. Typically, when the data is loaded from the back-end, it is rendered in the DOM tree and this way part of the page is updated dynamically. In most scenarios, the AJAX technology is used to consume RESTful APIs from the backend server. RESTful APIs are web services involved through the HTTP protocol. A web service is a remote functionality that can be invoked over internet. REST stands for Representational State Transfer. It is an architectural concept and industry standard about how to build web services. RESTful services typically implement the CRUD operation. Create, read, date, delete over certain data collection. The HTTP methods get, post, post, put, patch, and delete are used to retrieve, create, replace, modify, and delete data. We shall learn more about the RESTful services in the front-end and back-end development modules and software. This is a live code demonstration of RESTful web services. The example consists of server-side app backend and client side app frontend. The backend is a RESTful service written in JavaScript with Node.js and Express.js. 
It, is impl it implements a very simple to-do list with only two operations. Get all items and add a new item. You can see the code from the first URL in RepoIt. The RESTful API implements two endpoints: get to-do list and post to-do list, which the first uh, lists all items, the second uh, creates a new item. When we run the backend service, it will show a new item. It will show the to-do list as JSON string. The front end is a single, is a JavaScript single page app. You can see the code from the second URL in RepoIt. The app consists of web page, HTML, uh, with embedded JavaScript code in it. It holds two functions bound to the buttons on the web page. The first button was the to-do items. And displays them in a bullet list in the page. It, it uses HTTP GET request to the backend, which returns the items as JSON objects. Then it uses the DOM API to visualize the retrieved items. You can play with it when you run the example. The second button adds a new to-do item and displays and displays the updated list in the page. It uses HTTP POST. And request the backend to the backend. Please full focus on the concepts, not on the code and technical details in this example. It's too early to fully understand how this code works. It's I just want to show you the concepts of backend services and front-end apps which consume these services. We shall learn how to write RESTful backend services and how to um, and how to consume them with Ajax calls during the professional models at SoftUni. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softunit.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts, and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free, so join now softuni.org.